Hello and welcome to Lipper's Fun Flows Insight. I'm Jeff Turnahoy. For the week ended December 5th, 2012, long-term mutual funds suffered about $2.5 billion in outflows while money market funds took in over $29 billion. Let's take it our macro groups and see what uh, where the activity was. Starting off at the top, equity funds had about $4.1 billion of that outflow figure. Uh, we cut that a little bit with taxable bond funds taking in about $1.2 billion and municipal debt funds just under $400 million in inflows. Finally, money market funds had about $29.7 billion in inflows this week. Well, although we'll touch on it a little bit later, where you bought your ETFs or sold your um, uh, mutual funds had everything to do with the type of investor you are. Uh, again, equity mutual fund investors sold about $4.1 billion this week. Um, despite having three out of the four last weeks showing upticks in the market, good performance in other words, investors continue to sell their equities. There's definitely a negative sentiment out there at the margins when it comes to e um, equity funds investment um, ideas. So we don't expect to see a whole lot of great activity in the weeks ahead given that uh, nobody believes the market is going to go up the next week if they're selling this week. Domestic and uh, non-domestic uh, funds alike both had outflows. Domestics uh, uh, were the lion's share of that total. They had about $3.8 billion in outflows uh, while non-domestic had uh, about $350 million in outflows. For the non-domestic equities, this is their first week of outflows since the week of September. September 26, 2012, so even they are not immune to the negative sentiment. Now, moving on, the equity ETF investors out there had a very different view of this week's activity. Uh, altogether, equity ETFs took in about $7.7 .7 billion. Um, SPY, the, uh, the leader among them, uh, took in about $3.2 billion, or you know, nearly half the total. Not surprising since it is a behemoth among them. Um, technology and consumer plays uh, had the most activity as far as inflows go. Outflows were in defensive sectors. Uh, some of the uh, materials, utilities, real estate funds out there, you can see at the bottom, uh, tended to suffer outflows, although even among them, outflows still relatively mild. So overall, whether you liked or hated, ETFs this week all had to do with the kind of vehicle you were using. The next group we'll take a look at is taxable mutual funds. Uh, they took in about $1.2 billion this week. Uh, things have been a little unsettled in this group. Uh, maybe even uncertain is a good word. Uh, flows have really come down from just uh, a few weeks earlier. Uh, products from Double Line Total Return again took in a lot of uh, assets this week. Uh, we also saw Lord Abbott short duration and the JPM Core Bond products uh, also recipients of uh, investor monies. Uh, other products saw uh, their flows dip down enough, and that's why we saw about only $1.2 billion this week into these very popular groups. Uh, but when we look at uh, taxable uh, fixed income ETFs, we get a very different view. Uh, in this case, uh, we saw only about $8 million, which is probably close enough to be called a rounding error. Uh, in other words, it was very flat this week in uh, fixed income ETFs. Um, they, we had about $68 million in inflows last week, $8 million this week, it suggests to me that uh, there's not much out there to appeal to these investors that uh, uh, that uh, bond funds can provide that uh, equity ETFs cannot, which is probably why all that money's been drawn away into the ETF market. So overall, uh, investors were sellers of the more conventional conservative uh, ETFs out there. Uh, Treasury-related products suffered outflows. High yield and emerging markets took in money. Next group to take a look at is municipal debt funds. Here they had about $400 million in inflows this week. Again, fairly light. It's moderating activity in this group. Uh, high yield was responsible for most of the inflows, about $212 million this week. So high yield muni providing good yields in this uh, rather expensive group. So uh, we're seeing them post really the only consistent and positive flows in this group, uh, aside from a little bit of activity on uh, short uh, municipal debt funds as some investors get a little skittish about uh, the, the uh, prospects for state uh, fiscal um, activity. Finally, we'll take a look at money market funds. They had about $29.7 billion in inflows this week. Uh, institutional investors were the lion's share. Uh, they've been this uh, the bulk of inflow and trading activity for 
quite a while now, about $26.6 billion in from them, a little bit on the retail side. We have a theory here that we have not yet proved out, uh, but that we believe that hedge funds may be responsible for a lot of this activity. Certain hedge fund managers have made statements about being a little risk averse. Some of them have been selling their Apple shares. Maybe they're not sure where to put it, and they're finding money market funds to be uh, a responsible place to uh, keep their powder dry. So that's it for the flows uh, activity this week. Please uh, join us online at uh, www.lipperusfundflows.com for more up to date data. And please join us again next week as we discuss flows activity in mutual funds and ETFs. Thank you.